Hey guys, so now I'm going to talk about nutrition. Like a lot of people think, I'll go to the gym, I can eat wherever I want. Not necessary. So I'm just going to share like five tips that pretty much I use in an everyday lifestyle and it just keeps me lean, like pretty lean. Like, don't worry, I'm not going a bit thick at the moment, but it is winter. Um, <laughs> okay, so. Number one, drink your fucking water. So drink two to three litres of water every day. And depending on your size, you know, you may need to drink more water. Like, check what water target you should have. Um, the trick to drinking water is get a bottle with a straw in it and make sure the straw is, like, you know, squidgy. So that will make drinking water more fun. I don't know why it brings me back to my childhood. So I love that. Or, you know, just general, just get a straw in a cup. Um, if the water, you know, you don't like water, you think it tastes boring, bland, you know, put a slice of lemon in it, put like different fruits in it and stuff like that. Honestly, just get your water up. And I know everyone's just like, well, okay, that's a lot of toilet breaks. Yeah, it is. But like, so what? Go to, just go to toilet. I got a child's bladder, but at least then it helps me get up every day and hey, step goals, step goals. <laughs> okay. Number two make a food plan and stick to it. So for example, now, right, I love to eat a lot. So I have five meals a day. So I have breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. And then, so for example, on a cardio day, I don't need to eat a meal beforehand. So I will general may go out like, you know, a couple of hours to a few hours with no food. And I can just do that. I feel really good doing cardio that way. But if it's weight training, good, I really need to eat before and there's no way I can do weight training without eating so you know just be mindful of that you know what works with you how long do you need to eat before and I think in general when you weight training they say an hour and a half before and but like I honestly like an hour like I do because otherwise I get hungry so all depends you know what works for you some people don't even need an hour some people can eat and go so and then with your food plan, right, you've got to stick to it. So, for example, when you write it down, you stick to that food plan and you commit to it, okay? Like, don't just go off the plan. And then, as well, if you're traveling as well, kind of make your food plan pretty basic. So, for example, sometimes I write protein and veg for dinner. Protein is so easy. That could mean, like, I don't know, a steak and veg. That could mean fish and veg, chicken and veg, you know, whatever it is. And then up your protein, number three. Please just up your protein. Like years ago, I used to eat just carbs. I thought protein would get me really big, muscly. I didn't want to be like that. I just thought protein would make me get fat. Um, that was a mistake. The moment I started eating the protein that I should eat, I generally leaned like right out. I lost five kilograms. I've never put those five kilograms back on. Even when I try and bulk, um, honestly, if I eat protein, it's rare. it takes me a very long time to bulk. So, um, general, like, protein. So, egg whites I always have. I just found out in America, in the supermarkets, they have egg whites in cartons. Amazing. See whether that's in the UK. See if you crack all those eggs. Um, no ham. I just have, like, a ham pitta. The protein yogurt. I really like a protein yogurt, and it's a great snack for me. Or you can have Greek yogurt, a little bit of honey in it. A good snack i always try and go for full fat um just because you know when they remove all the stuff and then obviously there's lots of veg as well with protein in on it um i just use the protein breads and then fish tuna you know all that stuff honestly it's so easy to eat protein i generally eat over 100 grams of protein every day i find it very easy if you really struggle to eat a lot then yes the shakes you can start with um but there's a lot of crap in shakes. So if you can get away from shakes, then please do. But, you know, like I started having protein shakes first of all anyway. So, you know, it all helps. It's all swings and roundabouts. The grenade protein shakes are a lovely treat. I wouldn't recommend having them all the time though. Uh, but yeah, and the protein bars. Obviously, like I really love having like a little nut protein bar um, just as a snack. So then always like, so your meal prep, put yourself on the path for least resistance to this. Like depending where you are, especially if you're traveling in hotels or wherever, have your meal prep five minutes. So for example, you can buy pre-cooked pre chicken, pre-cooked fish and all that stuff. Like honestly, you need your meal prep to be so easy, you will feel too guilty to not walk to the supermarket and get it. And also, you know, make sure a hotel is near a supermarket. 
you know just put yourself on that path with least resistance the whole time so for example good easy meal prep like tuna tin of tuna smoked salmon pre-cooked all that stuff just get it done less than five minutes for your whole meal prep do it at the beginning of the day you have tap away if you want to you know whatever whatever you need to do to get yourself started and starting off strong and then sorry oh yeah so then from your meal prep and meal plan then this will dictate then your shopping list. So go into the supermarket with your shopping list. So for example, before I used to break out my meal plan, right, basic like protein, carbs was like, you know, carbs, like crisps, crackers, um, you know, literally like the typical protein. Um, uh, sorry, carbs, I wouldn't class veg as carbs. Like, I'm, like I said, no nutrition background. Um, veg, fruits, and then seeds, and then I'd literally just be like, I'd walk in the supermarket, I'm like, yeah, protein, 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 veg, 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 carbs, carbs, carbs. Like, I literally just wouldn't, I just think of food like very basic like that. It helped me massively stay on plan. And then, yes, so healthy substitute. So a lot of people, right, please, when you start out making a food plan, what is your nemesis? Like, what's the thing you struggle with? And then just find a healthier substitute for it. So for example, if you really like chocolate, then get a really nice chocolate protein bar. If you really like milkshakes, then get a really nice protein shake. So I recommend the grenade one for this. If you love milky bar, then white chocolate. Oh. Um, crisps, then get baked crisps. Do you get what I mean? So that's what I mean, like, don't try and just cut all that out. You, you're not going to do it. Like, be realistic. Just have healthy and nice substitutes ready for you. So I hope it really helps. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the best at my nutrition, but like, honestly, in the summertime, like, I got really ripped. And I mean, just by doing these things. And obviously in summer as well, you don't eat loads and loads of carbs. Um, because you just generally don't need them. But in winter, like, honestly, like, there's no way I'm eating a salad. Yeah. Like, I'm having, like, pasta bits, I'm having curries and stuff like that. So, naturally, then, you put on some weight. So, I hope it helps. See ya.